celebration organization in their apartment. The anniversary is little noted for the April 10, 1973 operation as a relic that continues today. The race was one of the first times the Lebanon became the arena where Israel and the Holocaust have their accounts. It remains so 50 years later as highlighted by an exchange of rocket bar and airstrikes across the border between Israel and Palestinian militant groups in Lebanon. I'm Charles Villadella. Breaking news and analysis at townhall.com. Her time was not the charm for an elderly bank robber. A 78-year-old woman with two bank robbery convictions now faces new charges after authorities allege she handed a teller a note that said, quote, I didn't mean to scare you.
pretty uh, good timing, I guess, of the U.S. government to release this bombshell over Easter weekend when not many people are paying attention to the news, but we're paying attention to it now. This breach has exposed top secret U.S. intelligence information that is now in our adversary, Russia's hands. So according to the Wall Street Journal, these documents were circulated on a messaging group of about 12 mostly United States-based individuals on the app Discord. For those who don't know, the app Discord is a app that was created to enable gamers to uh, message each other about various uh, video games that they are playing. But over time, it sort of evolved into more of just a general messaging group, like a, uh, a WhatsApp uh, uh again. So in, in January, an anonymous member of this messaging group on Discord began to post pictures of about a dozen files with top secret and classified markings on them. So let's look at what some of these documents expose. Number one, many of them talk about the war in Ukraine, including United States and Ukrainian communications about the types of heavy weaponry and equipment held by nine Ukrainian brigades, as well as precise numbers about Ukraine's deteriorating air defense system. This obviously is of immense strategic importance to Russia. Now that Russia has access to these documents, they know a lot about the internal workings of the Ukrainian military system. Number two, another thing that these documents revealed are U.S. communications with our allies namely South Korea and Israel. And allegedly, a few of these classified documents show a correspondence where Mossad, which is the Israeli counterpart of the CIA, the uh, Israeli intelligence service, they, they show a correspondence where Mossad is again allegedly, it's not confirmed, but allegedly encouraging Israeli citizens to protest against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and specifically his judicial reforms which have caused a lot of upheaval in Israel. Now Mossad and top Israeli government agents are vociferously denying these charges. Again, uh, it is just an allegation at this point, but some U.S. officials have seemed to confirm that this was taking place. And number three, another big thing that these documents have revealed is intelligence that the U.S. has intercepted from Russia including internal Russian Ministry of Defense deliberations on supplying ammunition to the Wagner paramilitary groups in Africa. Those of you who listen to my show, Timeless, know that I talk about the Wagner paramilitary group a lot because it is uh, exercising a really huge presence in the continent of Africa. This group was founded in Russia in 2014, and it rose to prominence during Putin's invasion of Crimea in 2014. What we forget is that in addition to invading Crimea, Putin also stationed troops in the eastern part of the Ukrainian mainland, called the Donbass region, which we know is now uh, of immense importance in this war in Ukraine. Putin seems to have taken this region. So this Wagner group rose to prominence in 2014, and now this group has moved into Africa, allegedly to support uh, African citizens against jihadists affiliated with Al-Qaeda, but really what Russia is doing by, by uh, moving these Wagner paramilitary groups into Africa is to try to exercise their control and dominion in the continent at the expense of the United States and other Western groups. For instance, earlier this year, the two African countries of Mali and Burkina Faso made French troops leave their country and they replaced those troops with Wagner paramilitary troops. So again, these documents reveal this intelligence that the United States intercepted from Russia about these groups, which is of huge importance to us. So what's just so upsetting about, about this uh, breach is that we have exposed our own country's intelligence, we have exposed our allies' intelligence, and we have also exposed our ability to intercept our adversaries' intelligence. So from the time that these documents were beginning to be circulated on this app Discord back in January of this year, the United States government astoundingly did not know that this was happening. In fact, they did not learn about the circulation of these top secret classified documents until March. 
I'm reading from this morning's Wall Street Journal, quote, the document stayed among the members of the tiny group on the Discord messaging platform until early March when another user reposted several dozen of them to another group with a larger audience. From there, at least 10 files migrated to a much bigger community focused on the Minecraft computer game. Yes, folks, this is really happening in our country where top secret classified documents are being exposed and circulated on apps where people are talking about Minecraft. A sign of our times. So again, the U.S. government only became aware of this leak in March, and they only became aware of it when our adversary exposed that this leak had occurred. A Russian private account on Telegram posted some of these documents, and they actually posted several documents that they themselves, the Russians, doctored, including one document in which Russia changed the numbers to inflate Ukraine's death count in the war and minimize Russia's. So they are sending this around. No one seems to stop. Uh, why not?